All right then, so there's a couple of different ways we can get set up with React to start using it. We can either use a package called Create React App to create a full React project whereby React will basically control the flow of the whole application with a Webpack setup. Or we could use the React CDN to quickly get up and running with React. And this is good when you only want to use React to create widgets or to control small sections of a web page. It's also really good when we're first learning React because it allows us to get set up and running really quickly. So just head on over to this website right here. I'm gonna leave this link down below and you wanna grab these two scripts at the top of the page. Copy those, then head over to your text editor. I'm gonna create a new file called index.html and I'm gonna press dock and tab to just create that boilerplate. That's because I've got Emmet fully baked into VS Code. And then underneath this meta tag over here, I'm gonna paste in these two scripts. So the top script right here, this is the core React library. And the bottom one down here, this is the React DOM library. And this is like a glue layer between React and the DOM. It's what lets us inject our components into the DOM, right? So we need both of those two libraries loaded into our index.html document. All right then, so now inside the body, what I'm gonna do is just create a div tag with an ID of app. And I've given that an empty class by mistake. Okay, so this is the div that ultimately what we're gonna be doing is controlling with a React component. Now, we're not gonna do that in this video, we'll do that in the next video. But before we stop with this one, I wanna show you just a couple of packages that I've got installed for VS Code, which is really gonna help when developing React applications. So if we go to this icon, the first one I wanna show you is this, ES7 React Redux GraphQL, etc. snippets. So this is gonna give us some shortcuts to some snippets of code so we can easily create components or imports and different things later on down the line, especially when we're using React to control a full application. The second one I wanna show you is Sublime Babel, and this is gonna give us some decent syntax highlighting for when we come to write JSX for our component template. So it's gonna look like HTML, okay? So they are the two packages I would advise you for VS Code, this one right here, and this one right here. Now also, because a lot of people ask, I am using Monokai++ as the theme for my text editor as well. So if you wanna use the same one, you can go ahead and download that right there. So anyway, now we've got our index file up and running, ready to use React. What we'll do in the next video is go ahead and create our first React component.